I 29 female keep finding long hairs in my bathroom, which is strange because my husband 32 female is bald and I have a short pixie crop hairstyle. Because of various reasons, I'm using a disposable account. This began a few weeks ago. While cleaning the bathroom, I discovered some long hair strands on the bathroom wall near the shower. This struck me as weird since not only does my spouse not have hair, but I also have extremely cut, short hair. As a result, the strands I discovered cannot be mine or my husband's. I rinsed them away, perplexed, but couldn't quit thinking about it. I opted not to discuss anything, but I did keep an eye out for them. There seems to be a pattern of hairs emerging whether I'm at work or out for an extended amount of time. I feel like I'm going insane, and I don't want to quickly accuse my husband of cheating on me with a longer-haired lady. When I questioned my husband about it, he just shrugged. Which makes me even more suspicious, since certainly this is weird. So why is he so blasé about it? I'm beginning to suspect he's downplaying things to keep me from discovering the truth. It occurred again two days ago, so I questioned my spouse once again. He ignored it again, although this time he conceded it was weird, but that the only explanation was that they were my hairs. They aren't, and now that I've said it, he'll simply dismiss me if I bring it up again. I don't want to presume my husband is cheating on me and accuse him of it over something so little, but I'm driving myself insane trying to figure out how the hairs got there without my husband dismissing it as nothing. We haven't had any visits, that I'm aware of, during lockdown, therefore his sister is out. Update. I eventually opted against installing a hidden camera since I didn't want to break my partner's confidence. Though a part of me wanted to acquire one to alleviate any fears of someone living inside my walls, as several comments suggested, I did, however, intend to leave work early, something I had never done before. My supervisor gave me permission to go after a half day. Nothing appeared out of the ordinary when I returned home. I was expecting to see another vehicle on the drive or parked on the street. There was no other vehicle that I didn't recognize. I was instantly perplexed after quietly allowing myself in. There was a pair of shoes in the hallway that I didn't recognize and they seemed like men's shoes. My husband came out of the kitchen with two cups of tea as I was standing in the hallway trying to figure out what to do, if I should sneak around or make my presence known. My husband's expression indicated that he was startled to see me. To add to my naivete, I questioned my husband how he could have known I was coming home early to prepare me tea. My spouse astonished me by sitting me down and explaining everything, even though I expected him to lie. At the start of the lockdown, his buddy, whom I'm not very friendly with since, we just met once, had been evicted, had lost his job, and had been couch surfing. So, for the last several weeks, this man has been coming to our home and with my husband's permission, using our restroom to freshen up before going to interviews. He was also borrowing my husband's clothes and suits. My husband's acquaintance, it turns out, has long hair and a beard. So it turns out that my husband wasn't cheating on me, but rather was concealing the fact that his long-haired pal was coming over to use our shower. I ended up meeting Dave after his shower, and he turned out to be a pretty decent person who was simply down on his luck. I wished him luck for his socially distant interview, and he continued on his way. I questioned my spouse why he didn't simply tell me since I wouldn't have minded. He was concerned about my response and the fact that I didn't like his buddy or approve of the scenario. He also said Day was ashamed by the situation and didn't want anyone to know what he was, was going through. I told my husband I was beginning to suspect he was cheating, and he was taken aback, having not even considered the ramifications while trying to cover for his pal. I told him the entire thing was ludicrous and even proposed that his buddy stay with us until he could get back on his feet. Surprisingly, my worst-case scenario, as described in the responses, was either a homeless guy or lady living inside my walls and secretly utilizing the shower. And, although this seems to be partly the case, I'm pleased it wasn't a stranger who was unwanted and wasn't living inside my walls. Thank you to everyone who replied and shown an interest in this. Story 2 My female 21 fiancé male 23 won't tell his best friend I'm six months pregnant. The title pretty much sums it all. I'm six months pregnant and starting to show. I had dropped 40 pounds in a year and had only gained 15 pounds throughout my pregnancy. 
my stomach seems to be large. I'm self-conscious since. It seems like I've gained a lot of weight back. To the point, based on how he's behaved and what he's told me, my fiancé is happy about the kid. We hadn't planned for the baby, but when we found out I was pregnant, I was undecided about keeping the baby or not and left the decision up to him. He was certain that he did not want an abortion, and all of my friends who had had one told me that I would be sorry. This isn't an anti-choice message or anything. I simply wanted to clarify the issue. Anyway, I'd grown to be quite enthusiastic about this pregnancy and the baby. The problem began around three months after I notified my family I was pregnant. Fiancé stated he would notify his family, but he just told his sister and requested her to tell their mother, his parents are separated, and he doesn't have frequent contact with his mother. I waited another month and a half before publishing about my pregnancy on social media, but I warned him at four months in that if he didn't tell them soon, they definitely find out through Facebook when I shared our ultra around photographs. That is exactly what they did. His family seems overjoyed, so I'm not sure what he was scared about. His best buddy and he have been pals since middle school and spend hours playing Xbox together. They discuss about video games rather than personal matters, but I think I hear his buddy speak about his personal life more than my fiancé does. That's all right. But I think this is a significant issue to leave out of your closest friend's life. When I asked him a few months ago when he would inform him, he kept replying soon. His buddy just came to visit with us, and I begged him to tell him since I'm so self-conscious about my belly right now, and there's baby things all over the house. He said that he would. He ended up pulling the ultrasound photographs off the counter and concealing my baby things that were on our changing table. I'm shocked. He didn't take the baby's stocking down with him. He actually wiped it up and didn't tidy up the other minor details I had requested of him before his buddy arrived. He kept repeating he'd inform him, his buddy is going to depart, but I don't believe he has. I'm in pain. He seemed to be embarrassed by me. I told him this, and he said that he isn't, but he didn't provide me a reason why he won't inform him. I simply worry that his buddy would find out after we have the kid and be disappointed that my fiancé would withhold such vital information from him. I'm upset because I can't even put my baby's clothing in a lovely little display in our room. Is there anybody who knows what may be causing him to feel this way, or whether it's really a huge deal? Maybe I'm exaggerating it because of my pregnant hormones. Story 3 I 25 female feel like my boyfriend 25 male was kind of pressuring me into sex last night. I'm posting here because I don't feel like I can speak to anybody I know about it. Without raising major worry or jeopardizing their perception of this person, I'm in a relationship with that I don't think I want to terminate. I'm not sure how to interpret it all or if I'm experiencing it right. I've been seeing my boyfriend for some months now. I adore him and we get along wonderfully. We have sex on a daily basis and nothing like this has ever occurred before, maybe a few uncomfortable moments here and there, but never anything that seemed forceful. I came over to his place very late last night after being out with friends. I live on the other side of town and was intoxicated, so I asked if I could spend the night. He'd been doing something similar and was just getting started. We climbed into bed and spoke about our evenings as we prepared to sleep. He eventually began touching my breasts, which was great since we were hugging, but as he continued to escalate, I told him I was inebriated, sleepy, not in the mood, etc., and wasn't up for anything more. He continued to squirm and tell me how he was until he finally asked if he could before we went to bed, which I told was great, it doesn't bother me if he truly needed to. He persisted in asking me to get engaged in different ways, and I eventually relented, until he said, can you simply give me head then? And I stopped and didn't react. He apologized for being bothersome, and I responded that I'd previously said that I didn't want to do any of this, and you're still gradually pushing me to, to which he apologized for being pushy. It irritated me because he was plainly aware he was being aggressive about it. I stated I was going to sleep, but I know we both tossed and turned all night, and he even asked me at one point, are things going to be okay? He's apologized for making me feel that way and promised not to do it again, but I'm just feeling horrible about it. I have a lot of prior sexual trauma that makes it difficult for me to assert myself when presented with pressure in the form of suggestion, 
which I know is a subject for a separate subreddit, so I'm not going to go into it too much, but the situation certainly brought up some pretty heavy emotions for me. I'm curious if anybody else has gone through anything similar in a relationship and gotten through it all right. Is this, for example, a normal misinterpretation that isn't symptomatic of anything much more sinister? Or does that come out as deranged? Lol.